Hiya! Welcome to another glorious day down on the allotment. The sun is still shining, the shades are off, the Movember's gone. Today being the 1st of December. Pinch and a punt for the first day of the month. <laughs> after the intro. <laughs> well, have I got some news for you. What are you doing? See, what I've got to put up with, what's going on in the background. So, anyway, have I got some news for you. Uh, Midweek I've got a, um, an email from the council. So, uh, Responding back to obviously when I emailed them a while back to uh, with all my rubbish and they've let me know that I can throw all my rubbish as long as by next week um, It's all gonna get taken by the council. So I was up here yesterday. Happy days. Look at this Look at this So let's uh, bring you around so you sort of get some idea of where it was. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And obviously we've really cracked on and got the bushes down. I'm sure I only bring her down here for the muckers. She just mucks around all day. That's all, that's all she comes down for. Right, so we got the bushes out, so we are we are cleared. We've got the site cleared. We're there. So today, all I'm going to do is just um, finally chop up all the all the brambles and get the majority of them in the fire bin, and then we'll have a big bonfire. Uh, obviously, the the larger excuse the wind, the larger um the larger bits. We've just been uh, chopping them up, making little um. Bug hotels. We've made a big one up at our, our other lot. I mean, I'll show you that later on. So, I'm an happy man. So, being Friday of the day, um, we're down to Cornwall on Sunday for the week. So, you ain't gonna see my ugly mug for a week. <laughs> or her stupidness. Stupid, stupididness. Isn't that right, Kim? Yeah. So, um, I'll put you on a bit of time lapse and you can watch me uh, with me brush cutter in her. Uh, try and make a rock. Yeah, fill this hole in, yeah. Yeah, I never did show this hole, did I? That was getting one of these many stakes up. I've still got these left to do. On there. And that took, took ages and uh, just not in the mood for them at the moment. So I'll put you on a bit of time lapse while I make a mess of um, trying to do this and uh, you won't hear me cursing. So, see you in a minute. In low, I've um, I got the cable to me, uh, me power bank. So, um, what have I managed to do? It's about 10 minutes of video. This battery on this camera is awful. Ah, uh, right, let's just show you. So, remember all the bushes that we'd, uh, we'd all cut out and was all down there as a massive pile? So, I've been through with the old, the old brush cutter, which is a fantastic tool, keep it nice and sharp. And there it all is now. Managed to get it all in one place. Uh, so we filled the the burning bin up, but obviously with the with the winter months in, and we're not allowed to burn down here till after six o'clock. And 
you can't even open the gate on six o'clock you can't even see the lock so and if i come down after six o'clock at night burning someone from the flats i'll probably call the fire brigade but yeah it's looking really good now like i said we still got a lot more rubbish to pick up uh obviously the remnants of where the ship was but the carpet's still down there but i'm happy because we got rid of well we got rid of all the all the rubbish that was there so big shout out to sue thank you very much for getting back to us and let me do that that's much appreciated that's really saved me a job um because like i said the amount of pile rubbish you got down there now i think we had probably just as much or a little bit more than that just from this one site you know with all the tip runs and uh the scrap man coming up here and we still got more rubbish to collect out so thank you very much that saved us a job uh obviously just this last little bit to get into so you can imagine if you remember the, the the blackberry bushes come right out didn't they so you just had the little path and that was all the way up and probably the bottom third was all blackberry bushes um so you can see how much of this site was just not getting used unbelievable so yeah just finished off this little corner um but you can see the other allotments now at the back which would be good. Like I said, this is because, like I said, this would have created a lot of shade. So now we can get some, some things growing here, which would be nice. Which would be nice. We're going to take this right the way back now. We was going to keep this, but we're going to completely get rid of it all now because it was just weed. And we've got some. See the remnants of old beds in here, and there's the fence right back there. Uh, so we're going to clear that all the way back. Get rid of all this. It's another job to do. And then we're going to put a, a new fence in. Uh, between us and the yellow allotment here get the fence up here fence off our little uh, a little flower garden and then think of something we're going to do for the back there just to uh, get a, a low retaining fence just to keep all that from pushing through and then it's getting all of a rotivator and <laughs> yeah camera's going off so I have to be quick getting all of a rotivator and um and then we can start leveling it all off, dig it all up, and then start leveling it until we sort of start like, uh, getting it level. Um, yeah, so. Um, so, we're off for a week down in Cornwall. May take the camera, uh, show a little bit of the stuff that we've got on down in there and do. But until then, have a nice week, and um, we'll see you. Sorry for being rudely interrupted, we're back now, um, back in the house, so um, as I mentioned we're off for a week now, so we'll see you in a week and a half, I can't, I can't wear this, that's what she looks like all the time, um, yeah, week and a half time, so until then, have a fantastic week, happy growing, or tidying up, tidying up, yeah, getting ready for the uh, season so until then uh... bye